chapter 3 exercise 3 section c start from your page number 116 till 1 to 6 it's all about theory from seventh question the question will be start for the solution the mean and the mode of a variance are 5.5 and 6.4 means the mean is 5.5 and the mode is 6.4 and here they ask to find its median first take this question in your book as you can see the mean and mode is given and in the question they ask about median find out the formula in which formula all three comes together obviously in empirical formula remember empirical formula that is mode is equal to 3 median minus 2 mean now let's keep all the value in the formula mode which is given in the question 6.43 median which is not we don't know so keep it as it is 2 mean 5.5 get them multiply keep median as it is 2 into 5.5 it is 11 now we'll take this 11 over here 6.4 is equal to के आगे अगर लेकर आते हैं तो sign will be change rather than minus it will change to plus 11 here comes 17.4 is equal to 3 median now the 3 median it's, it's, it is together get it separate as it is a multiplication sign we can take it down down to 17.4 4 where we will find out the value of median so here we got 17.4 divided by 3 here we got the median 5.8 which has been asked in the question next question number 8 geometric mean of two number is 8 if one number is 4 find the other number now here geometric mean of two number is 8 means geometric mean is 8 is already given so out of two number the one number is 4 here we have to find out the another number first you remember the formula of geometric mean this is what the formula as in the question it is given there are two numbers so we will be put x1 and x2 only two because in the question only it is given that there are only two numbers in the geometric mean there are two information lagegi. so here we will make a solution by keeping under root the geometric mean which is already given in the question is 8 x1 that is 4 and here the value of x2 which has to be find out the root which we keep at the top is known as a square root if we divert it to 8 as a square it would be 64 8 8s are 64 4 x 2 so let's keep 4 down to 64 where we this is how we can find out the value of x 2 4 1s are 4 16s are so therefore here we found the value of x 2 60 next question Mean weekly production X of a factory is 81 unit. Mean is given 81. Find the mean production cost if the cost is given by Y is equal to 3X plus 60. So here is the equation is given and mean has been shown as an X and the value of X is already given. So very simple just keep this equation in your book. Just take this equation and as the value of x is already given. So just you have to do is to keep the value of x plus 50. 3 into 81 it is 243 plus 50. Add them both you will get 293. So the mean of production cost is 293. Next question number 10. The median of observation A minus 5, A plus 1, A plus 2, A minus 3, A is 10. Means 
here the value of median is given 10 and the question is asking to find a let's see first information how many information is given 1 2 3 4 and 5 these are the five observation and first as we are finding a median first we'll arrange them into ascending order here i took the question in the book and arrange in ascending order the minus will be come first that a minus 5 then a minus 3 then the value of a then the plus 1 that is a plus 1 and a plus 2 by looking at this also we can give the answer directly the median of observation is 10 but I'll show you the solution as this information is given in raw data and here we already arrange so the formula to find out median for raw data that is value of n plus 1 divided by 2 the observation as we can see total n was the observation is 1 2 3 4 5 so n is 5 plus 1 divided by 2 the observation so here we get the answer 6 divided by 2 means value of 2 1s are 2 3s are third observation is median 1 2 3 that is median is a and median is given in the question is 10 so this is how you have to solve for the question number 10 next question number 11 the mean of marks in mathematics of 30 student in class is 76 means the mean is given 76 and the number of student is 40 whenever you read the statistic questions be sure that what is given and give importance to this comma and full stop that is what the information has been completed for the first part then it is given that whereas the same for the class of 50 student is 85 means the another mean is 85 and the number of student is 50 Find the mean marks of mathematics of student in both together. By looking at this, obviously we can understand there are two numbers are given and two means. So which formula will go? Obviously, combined mean will continue with out of this information. Here for the further explanation, I just make it separate. The information which is given in the question, the mean marks of mathematics, 40 student which will be denoted as a N1. And the mean will be 76 that is mean 1 will be 76 whereas the same for the other class for the 50 student which will be denoted as a n2 and 85 as a x2 so here we'll keep the combined mean formula that is n1 mean 1 plus n2 mean 2 as we have only two information we'll only keep this much the remaining n1 plus n2 now we'll just keep the value in the formula n1 which is 40 x1 is 76 which is going to be multiplied n2 50 mean 2 that is 85 and n1 that is 40 plus n2 is 50 first get multiplied 40 into 76 you will get 3040 plus 50 into 85 4 2 5 0 divide by 40 plus 50 it is 90 now just add them here we get 7 2 9 0 by adding this two number divide by 90 here we get the answer 81 marks question number 12 the number of vehicle per family in families residing in a certain area are given in the following table find the mean for the number of vehicles as you can see the question information is given in the discrete data so out of this discrete data we will first find out mean here I took the X and the frequency which is given in the question the multiplication of these two will get FX and the total of FX is Sigma FX here I am using direct method to find out mean formula for the direct method is sigma fx upon n 55 
divide by 25 you will get answer 2.2 so here the value of 2 which is less than 5 so here we can say it's a two vehicle which has been asked in the question next third one find the weighted mean of variable x from the following data here the value of x is given and the weighted of it first take this information in your book here I took the information. So first we'll make a multiplication of this two number. Here I give the multiplication of the x with weighted. I found wx. The total of this column we'll call it as a sigma wx. That is 10,900. Remember the formula of weighted mean. Here you can use the both formula. Even you can use the formula which was described by uh, weighted 1, x1 plus weighted 2 x2 plus weighted 3 x3 that also can be go and even this can use because the here we are already making a multiplication and by adding we will take we'll take it directly in the formula so here we'll take 10900 and the total of weight 10 and we got the weighted mean here 1090